I'm so excited. I am about ready to set up my June classic Franken happy planner. And I hope you'll come along and join me because I like as Stephanie put it, a planner wardrobe. And so this month I am going with the theme of blue. And this is my theme this month. So let me tell you where I got these because I know everybody's going to ask. These are from the Stargazer Happy Planner. Um, I was able to get them and I just think they're gorgeous. And so I'm going to stick with that color because I feel like they go really well with th this blue. And this is from a Happy Notes. The inside looks like this. And it says sometimes all you need is a little splash of color. And the reason I chose this one is because I thought for the first part of the month this would be nice. But if I do get tired of it, which happens sometimes, I thought that was just as pretty too. I think both of them are, are gorgeous. So, all right, so let's set this up really fast. I'm going to turn on some music for you and I'll show you how I, I'll put the rings on and then I'll show you what I'm actually adding to this month. All right. Okay, so that is how it will look. I think that is just really, really pretty. Love these blue discs. Okay, so there are a few things that I am adding this month and I wanted to show you. So I will bring over from my May Happy Planner a few things over here, but I just go ahead and set up and, and do the whole month in advance over here, except for the goals and things that I need to bring over. So first of all, we're gonna do June. This is the Classic Teacher Happy Planner. And then all of the week. So this, this is the layout of the weeklies. Now, I'm very much considering not doing the dailies like this or the weeklies like this just because I just don't have a lot of things planned for June the way that I usually do during the school year or when we're going out and about. And so I'm thinking about changing, but for right now, I'm just going to leave it in here and I may change my mind. And if I do, I'll just let you know on the weekly plan with me. Okay. And then this is my, sorry, let me get there. This is my prayer journal. And my prayer journal is from the encourager and it says, girl, you are inspiring and beautiful. I really like this encourager layout. So what I use this for is my gratitude, my, they're not gratitudes. I don't know how to describe them other than to call them tender mercies. That's the way I know how to describe them is it's not just things I'm grateful for, but it's the way that I saw, maybe this is a better way. The way that I saw the Lord's hand save me in, in my life. And so if you're not religious, I don't want to be offensive, of course. Um, but it, it is what I believe. And I, I truly believe that God is aware of us. And so that's what I, that's what I put here. Now, how I do my prayer layout is at the beginning of the month, I'll go through and I will on every single page of every single week, I will put something that I need to pray for on this. And then on my daily prayers to help focus my mind, I'll write, I'll come and see what I, what I was going to pray about. And I write a prayer having to do with that. And, and I've been doing this now for four months. And so far I have not ever needed to change a focus. It has always been spot on, whether it's a person or the world or a child or something has happened good or bad that I need to pray for them about or be thankful for or all of those things. So, um, sorry, I just realized it was super far up. I apologize. Um, so I'll write my prayer up here and it's just very, just really quick. And then down here, I write anything that I feel like I need to do that's pressed upon my mind that has to do with this specifically. And if I need to transfer it to my main to-do list, I will, but most times because it's pressed on my mind and it's written down in here, I'll remember it throughout the day. Now these all have to do with just the regular things I'm praying for at the time. Like right now, coronavirus would be on here. My husband, my kids, um, teachers and people who first responders, that kind of thing. But that wouldn't be an all the time thing necessarily 
like before the coronavirus, I wouldn't necessarily have focused on the on the um, first responders and, and people in the hospital and things like that. So these are the regular things that I pray for all the time. But then these are specific and it just helps me focus my prayers. And of course I can pray for other things, but it's just amazing how how God helps me to choose who and what I need to pray for. So enough on the prayer journal, but I really, it's really, really helped me focus my prayers. And so I, I had to recommend it. Okay. Now this is my, um, scripture planner. And what I do is I write a verse of the day up here and then I use all of this area to just write whatever comes to mind for me. It's not necessarily an observation or application having to do with this particular scripture. It's usually having to do with the chapter that I'm reading. And that's what I do here. And it's more than enough room and space. And I like that I can take it all up and I don't have to necessarily be on the Friday or the Saturday. Oh, and I did want to put one of these in the last one. Um, so you'll notice that this is kind of an incomplete. Oh, I ripped that. Oops. This is kind of an incomplete planner. And the reason why is I used part of this planner to make the new memory planner set up for my youngest daughter. If you're interested in seeing how I memory plan, if you'd leave me a comment, I will do a video on that for you. So all I'm doing here is just adding a piece of paper for that last week. Okay. And then this is my journal. Now I actually don't think I'm going to use this journal the way that I that I have been because I'm finding it, that it's hard right now to think of things to say because we're so in the monotony of everything and especially with June being a little bit more monotonous and me having to get super creative of how I'm going to deliver my kiddos like for lack of a better word um, play with them etc I thought that I would do oh and I only pulled out a week and I meant to pull out Just stop right there. Okay, so this is the, this says, trust the timing of your life. It's a guided gratitude journal, and I'm going to pull out the whole month. And I know it's a daily, but I just feel like I will do well getting this out of here now. I want to do the color scheme that kind of goes with the blue. So I'm going to do this last purple one. I'm going to pull this guy out. Put him in here. And I think that'll just be a nice journal experience for me this month. And I'm happy to film some of them. I probably won't film every day for you. But again, like I did in May, but I do want you to see how I go through this and the questions and, you know, hopefully it'll inspire you to, to do the gratitude journal. Shoot. Oh, here we go. This is, this is good. All right, so there is that um, scripture journal. Okay, now we are doing a big change because for, sorry, for the month of June for my social media planner, I was like, oh, I don't need a social media planner. I need a social media planner. I don't know how, I don't know why I thought I didn't need it, but I do. So what this will be is this will be my schedule for the month. These are going to be not monthly habit trackers, but just, sorry, hold on. <coughs> um, making sure that I have schedules for YouTube and Instagram and, and things like that. I'll have monthly goals, which I haven't set yet. Um, and then these go, these do go in there at the end. And so I'll put them in, but I'm not going to use them the way that...
the way that I think other people might. I'm actually going to put in, these are from the spring release. It's a black paper pad and it just has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm just going to pull out as many weeks as I have in June here. And this is where I'm going to keep track of exactly when I'm posting this. So this will be my film schedule and this will be my posting schedule, my film and picture taking. This will be when I actually post the thing that I filmed over here. So, you know, what I need to edit and things like that. So there's one, two, three, four, five weeks that I'll need to be prepared for. So two, three, four, five. And I like that the back is blank and I like that it's not connected to any planner because then I can, if I need to rewrite something or if I need to adjust it, or even at the end, it's not really gonna be part of a memory planner. It's just going to be, I think you guys have all heard me say this before, it's a place for the ugly. So <laughs> that's all it is. And then I am gonna leave the daily tasks in here. I don't know what I'll use that for just yet with the don't forget, but this, I will write what I want to do. This is for ideas and for things in the future and um, what I want it to change next month. And guys, I apologize for my hands. And then the last one is my budget. And the budget is here. Okay, now. Oh, that's one of the sticker sheets. So I am gonna put the sticker sheets in here because I find that I'm not using them and I used to use them all the time. So I'm putting the sticker sheets, these are from the extension, the old budget extension packs. And I like that the stickers came with them. And so I'm putting those in here so I will use them more often. All right, and then we are gonna add this folder in here. This is from one of the classic folder packs. I think you can still get them at Hobby Lobby. There was like, eight or something in there and it just says focus on what matters and then these are those dividers from that same happy notes and I always like to have dividers in the back because I just never know what I'm gonna add I know I need a place for note paper um, and there's a few other things that I like to add out I probably shouldn't use the one that's this is just a really heavy-duty paper cut I've yeah I've had a bandage on it for like three weeks now <laughs> okay all right let me see if there's anything else that I'm that I need to remember Okay, so we'll have the welcome page and the things from the other the other spread. If I don't use these, the weeklies, then I may switch to that journaling page and, and do something else, but I'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Okay, and then Tender Mercies and and then prayers. Oh, and then I do like to do this because I don't use the monthly on this guy. So I do take this and just make sure that because I don't use either of these pages and they kind of go together. There we go. So I just fold over the monthly right here. All right, and then the scripture, and then with the last studying one there, and then I have my gratitude, and then social media, and then my budget right here. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and decorate this planner here. I love these stickers. These are from the Be Social box from last year, and they are similar to the Summer Vibes. I was so happy to see that they released that. Again, similar, not exactly the same, but they have this great hollow on it, and I loved that it was bright, and it, what a great way to celebrate the beginning of summer. So I'm just kind of flipping through and deciding what I want to go where. I know I want a really strong outline, more stickers meaning on the top and on the on the sides because June is a pretty light month for, th for us. There are definitely some birthdays and my husband's and mine anniversary is on the second, so there are lots of things to celebrate. And so I start with this sticker. It says, looking good, feeling good. And I thought it was adorable. And then down at the bottom, I'm gonna try this quote sticker here, but it just did not work out. It says, find the beauty in every day. And I think that's appro totally appropriate, especially for right now. 
I love the positive vibe that's out there. And I leave it there even though I know I'm going to end up changing it. So then I start laying down these great square stickers that or sorry, rectangle stickers that go with everything having to do with the month. And those are just to help me remember some of the days that are important. This wasn't exactly the smoothest spread I've ever done. Usually I sit down and like the inspiration just flows, but this was a little rough. But then I realized that it was inside the discs. So once I took that off the discs, things started to come together a little bit more. I was like, oh, that's my issue. The discs. <laughs> I love my discs. Don't get me wrong. But it was it was nice to be able to take it out and just have the actual paper in front of me. All right, so I think I finally have all of the days. I have my husband's birthday, the anniversary, a few other important things going on. And I realized that I put the bigger sunglasses on there and they had a smaller pair. And so I put the bigger sunglasses to the left over the quote sticker and the smaller ones to the right and it just looks so much nicer. And then again, I'm just putting some icons. I put an ice cream cone up the top because summer ice cream totally go together. Some of these are not me, but the rainbow sticker is definitely one that I love. And I tried to get ones that were shiny and the holographic ones. I just think the gold hollow is really pretty. It's, it's a rainbow. Metal is another way to say it. Now I'm trying to match up the sticker to something that it can go on. That's the reason I'm holding it over the sticker book. But I don't ever actually like put it down or anything. Then I decide that I'm going to put it on top of this rainbow. I I think it's a good fit. Again, I don't need a lot of space in June. It's summertime. My kids and I, we will do fun things every day, but we right now especially, we can't go a lot of places. There are no museums open still. There are very few parks open, and so I'm having to get a little bit creative with what we're doing. I loved this little flamingo, and I was okay with it going over the last part of Tuesday. I felt like it was super cute. And so I cut the sun in half thinking that if I put it on both sides of June, it would look cute. It actually just looked a little weird. And I was like, no, no, I, I do not like that. <laughs> so I put one on the first day of summer. And then I was looking on the other side and I really wanted to find a, a place to put it. And I thought just right on top of that little quote sticker with the rainbow underneath, it was a nice little cluster of stickers right there. I put these hearts right in the middle again just because it looked really good and I, d I don't have a lot of appointments right now. And I loved this sun and I wanted it to go somewhere where I knew we probably wouldn't be busy. And so I put it on this Friday. Friday is our movie night and what I was planning on was the sun would remind me that we should do movie night outside. We have a projector and so it would be fun just to put up the screen and put it up on a wall. And then that says, baby, you're solid gold. I loved it. I thought it went well with the gold, the goldish foil. And that says happy, oh, it says birth, birth yay. That sticker said birth yay. And then money, the song that came to mind was, um, working hard for the money. Do you guys know that song? But then I realized, I, I don't know if I like how many are up there. <laughs> so I was looking at it and I was like, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I like that. So I took off one of them. So I took off one of them and put them back in the book. Then I took off the other one. And then sadly, this was really sad for me because I really do like this flamingo, this sticker here. But I put the happy face up, up there next to the ice cream cone. And I liked that a lot. And I liked this hang loose sign a little bit better than the, the flamingo. So I went ahead and took that off, the flamingo off after the hang loose sign. I'll take that off here in a minute, off screen. Sorry about that. Just sometimes I can't get it off when I'm trying to keep it on screen. So I just took it off screen, put the hang loose sign on. And I liked that it was clear. You could still see the Tuesday through it. And it was a little less cumbersome. And then I was so happy I found a place for the flamingo on the bottom right. 
And then I looked and it was just still a little empty. But I needed to put a few things first, and one of the most important one being Father's Day. I tried this gold, but it just was not the same vibe as the other metallic gold. So I put that one back. I like using the mini books for the monthly spread, just as a pro tip. I found that one, it was rose gold. But then I found this one and it was blue and it was closer, but it wasn't exactly what I was looking for. And then I found this one and it was just one line across and it just said Father's Day on it and it was perfect. Right in that little square, not my own handwriting, it was great. Now the other thing that I'm looking for here is a summer, a summer, first day of summer, summer by itself, and I look through a lot of sticker books, guys, to see if I can like do some sticker surgery and cut one down. And while I'm looking, I find an anniversary sticker that's a turquoise color that kind of goes with the scheme, the color scheme of everything. I thought it was really cute next to the pink. But again, just finding the summer solstice. Sorry guys, my son just walked in. I don't know if you heard him, he said, here you are. So finally I go into my seasonal book because I just cannot find it anywhere else. And I'm just looking for summer. And I know this is like one of the very last stickers I have to find, but man, it was just almost impossible. I had the big summers, but I didn't have one that would fit into a monthly. So finally I just put it aside and say, I'm gonna find it in a minute. And then I put these last little foil covered stickers on the bottom in the week that there's not a lot going on. There's nothing dated down there. Again, I thought the ice cream cone would match the one up on the top. It's a little bit different. And then I find it. It's summer solstice. And it was tucked away in my celebrate book. <laughs> All right, guys, that is it. I love the way this spread turned out. Um, it's a little bit different than my normal mojo but i thought it would be a good way to start the summer bright and shiny and awesome if you liked this video go ahead and hit that like button for me so i can make more videos just like this one if you feel so inclined please subscribe you are always welcome here and i hope that you remember you're better than you think you are